Thank you very much for that, Hibba. We are now joined by Jordan Pearson. She's the artist of all this wonderful work that we see around us. And I was talking about the fact that you use beeswax as well as acrylic paint. And this really struck me, this umbrella here that is, it's 3D. Yeah, it it looks really like, like it's wet because of the wax. Talk a little bit about how you work with your materials. Well, I have to melt them completely and then they're fluid. And once they're fluid, I add my oil pigments to them. And then with that, I literally paint just like I would with normal acrylics or oil. And it dries almost instantly. And then I use my blowtorch to fuse the wax layers together. And then eventually you got a finished piece. Gotcha. You were working pretty hard the last few months to get ready for this festival. How did you find out that you were going to be included into the works? Well, they took my money, actually. <laughs> they took your money? Yeah, okay. they took my money before First they emailed step. me. <laughs> yeah, before they emailed me, took money, and then I got an email and I was super excited yeah. and then I've just been working my butt off since. How many pieces did you have to create to get ready for this festival? Well, you apply with 10 and then I knew that I needed to have a certain amount to hopefully pay for school so I'm at about 40 pieces right now but once I keep working on stuff I'll probably finish with about 55 wow. in total. Who wow. knows if they all sell though? Because like I said earlier you have to keep up with the demand so yeah. you're actually working on location. Yeah. I don't want to have an empty table no. for people to see so I want to keep filling it. So yeah. I really love the beautiful colors. You love bright colors and, and your, your painting is very angular in a lot of these prints. You said that you use tape to make those short angles yeah. but you, you describe your work as shattered in yeah, a lot well, of ways. That's the first word that comes to mind yeah. when I'm when I'm asked to describe them so I guess they're kind of a point between abstract realism they're realistic so you know what you're looking at but they're abstract enough to create some imagination mm -hmm. so for me it's a good combo because combo, I like both sides of the world so yeah. that's what I'm trying to achieve here and working hard on it. And natural beauty seems to be a big theme. I'm seeing a lot yes. of landscapes, a, clouds, water, mountains. Yeah. Nature is your big thing. It is. I'm a very outdoorsy weather girl and I love the sky and I can't help but see shapes and <laughs> colors every day. So I'm just trying to show people my perspective and they can step in my shoes for a day if they take a piece home. And because you're working so hard, you're trying to get ready for school and you're trying to raise the money for tuition. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping you're going to be taking art. Uh, yeah, yo, I'm going for visual arts, two-year diploma, and then we'll see how it goes after that. It might continue, might not, I don't know. Yeah. Too far ahead to think. Fair enough. Yeah. And on a daily basis, how many hours a day are you spending painting? Um, well, I homeschool right now, so I have a lot of extra time on my hands, so I've been able to commit to it. So I'd say anywhere between five to seven hours on a good day, and if I'm not feeling really well, maybe just an hour and a half, two hours, but good days, <laughs> half my day. Sure. It's my work. Well, you're being productive, so yeah. an hour of being productive is more than a lot of people do in a day. so. And in you their know spare what? time. It's literally my job, so when people go to work, I go to work, but it happens to be my easel, so. Being very young, only 18 years old, you're very mature for your age, and you have Thank a very you. mature outlook on your art and how to describe it. When you're talking to people, even though the works has just started up and they're coming and asking you questions, how is that for you as an artist to be able to explain all the hard work that you've done and, and put it into your own words? It's really exciting actually because I've been working on all this by myself solitary for the last six months <laughs> and to show like all these people I don't know what I've been doing and yeah. my passion it's really exciting and it's giving me all nervous jitteries <laughs> but it's been really great and I really hope I can continue it until I die. Good, yeah. good. So if people want to check you out online, where do they go? Uh, they can go to my website, jordanpearsongallery.com. It's not up and running until this Saturday, but once it's up, you'll see every piece I've ever done within the last year. I'm only putting recent stuff on. Excellent. Well, yeah. great job. You have absolutely beautiful work. Thank we'll you be right much. back on SHOT TV.